Ravens Fansky talked about this Ravens defense and how good it has been. They can play multiple personnel groupings. They can play five on the line of scrimmage or an even front, four down front. Uh, they can pressure you. They can play zone. They can play man. They really do a little bit of everything and, and to keep you off balance. Uh, and then I think they have very versatile football players, uh, 54, Bowser, uh, the young number 14, Ham Hamilton. I mean, these are guys that they can line up in different positions, uh, which really makes identification very important for the offense. Deshaun talked about the depth that they have on defense. Does that really show up to you? And, or I guess, do you agree? And then how does that show up? Oh, yeah, I agree. I mean, they have depth at rushers. You know, you can see multiple. They can wave different guys in there, guys that are fresh, uh, certainly uh, from the edge rush standpoint. And Quincy, it's... That defense has been playing well. They went out and they got Roquan Smith, and that helped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, their defense is playing well in some areas, and in other areas they've been kind of struggling, right? Marcus Peters in that secondary hasn't really been as shut down as they want to be. Also keep in mind that that offense for the Ravens has been struggling mightily all season, up and down performances, really. Um, either they have these flashes of brilliance, uh, but most of the time they're, they're really not at that level. So... You know, it's going to be interesting to see which Baltimore team comes to play this week. But most certainly, it, it, it seems like this defense is going to oppose a threat against the run game. So, you know, we're going to see what Watson has this week. You know, if he's ready to go, if, are we going to be talking about a bounce back performance or are we going to be talking about a, a rough performance from him because he wasn't ready to play and, and be leaned on yet?